So what exactly happens when diabetics don't take insulin? In order to test this out, we're going to be going without insulin for the next month and seeing what happens. No, 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 I'm just joking. That is reckless, dangerous, and honestly, straight up unhealthy. Instead, let me show you a bit better way. Okay, so what exactly is insulin and why does it matter? So online, insulin is defined as a hormone produced in the pancreas in the islets of Langerhans, which regulates the amount of glucose in the blood. That doesn't really tell us too much. Here's a bit of a better explanation. So when you're diagnosed with diabetes, it means that your body no longer produces insulin. And insulin is going to be the main component in your body that is dispersing glucose throughout your cells. Glucose is sugar, any, almost all foods except meat, eggs, and that's about it, have glucose in them. So think about insulin as a regulator that moves all the sugars that you eat throughout your body so that it doesn't all sit in one place. Because when the glucose sits in one place, it makes your blood sugar go super high, which leads to adverse health effects across the board and honestly just makes you feel absolutely terrible. And so obviously diabetics have to take insulin or else all the food we eat, minus eggs and meat and some other things, just sit in our body with all of that sugar building up and really causing us a lot of harm in the long run. Now, let me head home and show you guys an example of how insulin works to clear glucose out of the body. So now that I'm back home, let me give you that example I've been talking about. Chocolate chips. And clothespins. This is Bill. Bill has type 1 diabetes. So, whenever he eats food, it tends to sit around in his system without really being cleared out. But, when Bill takes insulin, it can remove all of these sugars from his body, making him feel healthy and fit once again. However, if Bill doesn't take this insulin, the chocolate chips here will sit in his system, making Bill extremely uncomfortable and unhappy. So I hope that little example right there showed you guys a little bit more about why diabetics have to take insulin. Without taking insulin, I wouldn't be able to run, wouldn't be able to make videos like this one for you guys, wouldn't even be able to do any of my schoolwork just because there'd be so much sugar left in my body and no way to disperse it. So I've told you guys all this stuff about why you have to take insulin and like what happens if you don't have it. But what complications can come from not taking insulin? Well, your blood sugar will be a lot higher constantly, which can lead to amputations in your legs. You can suffer from blindness and, of course, eventually die earlier. A lot of people who don't treat their diabetes with insulin will die at least at the minimum in their 30s. And on that happy note, I am going to wrap up this video. hope I taught you guys a little bit more about what a juggling act diabetes is and how you can never really turn it off. It's always there. You always have to be treating it or else the unthinkable will happen. But make sure you're exceeding yourself every single day. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video.